a deeper learning revolution really started here in Toronto. So initially it was really focused on uh, some of the more broad use cases like image recognition. Google became really interested in it really early on. Uh, but in these days it's starting to really make its way into the research space. Uh, and we were really the first to, to get that going here in Toronto in Brenda's lab and in Brendan's lab. We're able to apply deep learning to microscopy data sets, so that could be used for classifying different protein localizations, cell cycle stages, um, also just for uh, drug screening, so finding out whether a drug's working on a cell line or not. Uh, so the cool thing is that it's more or less one technique, but it can be used for almost any experiment. I was always interested in computer vision, um, but then in my master's I was actually doing more experimental work in the biomedical engineering department, so I was actually doing mouse experiments. Uh, in fabricating microfluidic devices. Uh, and as interesting as that was, I realized I'm not really cut out for experiments, so I became a lot more interested in bioinformatics. Um, I've really focused on commercial applications of it since, since I was close to graduating, so uh, we have a collaboration now with one of the, main, one of the major microscope manufacturers that also supplies most of the software to industry, uh, so we're helping them implement some of the deep learning techniques and get that going in their software. Um, additionally, we're, we intend to open up our own lab and actually do experiments and use the software ourselves uh, to develop cancer therapeutics. Mm -hmm.